What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Connor Speed 6 and today we are back in the reaction game checking out a recommendation from a lot of people who actually watched my Isle of Man TT uh, best top speed moments reaction. A lot of people were telling me that I need to actually watch the Peter Hickman onboard chin cam video where he actually has, I believe it's a GoPro or some sort of camera attached to the, the chin area of his helmet. So I've actually found it online and I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that today. Uh, I have to say the, the actual high speed moments video that I watched was a crazy mix of hilarious and incredible all at the same time. Watching everyone's reactions on the side of the road Watching these bikes come by at ridiculously high speeds uh, was something to truly behold. And uh, it was really enjoyable. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. It's it's a good time. But yeah, this one, from what I've heard, it's, it's recorded by Peter Hickman. And it's actually sort of like a showcase lap for BMW, if I remember correctly, uh, based on what I've read. So it's not a actual full speed lap. And uh, it starts at about two minutes and 30 seconds into the video. So I've gone ahead and uh, jumped forward in the video itself uh, to the start of the actual event. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I cannot wait to watch an actual onboard lap around the Isle of Man. Let's check it out. So this is the BMW HP4. I'm trying to find the speed. I can't see it's bouncing around too much and I'm blind. God, he's flying! Oh, he was blowing a wheelie there. My God. He's going pretty slow here. Again, this is not an actual race lap. Oh, let's go! Sorry, I gotta see it again. Oh God, it's so scary. Wow. That is, in this is an incredible view. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's it's stressing me out. It's stressing me out. He goes from a foot away from the wall to a wheelie out of a corner into fourth gear. Oh my god. <laughs> my guy. He's just pulling wheelies for the fun of it. He's just pulling wheelies for the fun of it. I don't know how fast he's going, but he's easily going over 150 miles per hour in some of these spots. Sorry. Another wheelie. Oh, it's so fast. He's blind. He's literally riding blind into the sun. That's crazy. Oh. oh! 
<laughs> That's so scary. No clue where he's going. This, this right here. This, this shot or these types of shots in this event or this, this video are scary as hell. He is literally leaned off the side of the bike. Going, I don't know how fast, but in the real race, they're upwards of 200, what, 20 miles per hour, I would assume at times. Hanging off the side of a motorcycle. There genuinely is nothing else like this in the entire world. so close how close is that how close is that his his handlebars are literally over the white fog line on the side of the road and there's got to be what 10 inches a foot in between the white line and the wall I don't, I don't even know what to say. That is absolute insanity. That is so... That's crazy as hell. I've never in my, I've never in my life... I've watched some Isle of Man TT races and some events. I have never seen an onboard like this to where this man's face is a foot or less from a wall at speed. That is nuts. And I'm, I'm still trying to see. I'm still trying to find the speed up. I see the RPMs, but I don't see, I don't actually see the speed. so close to the wall. Did he feel something, maybe? Did some, did, hmm. Maybe he felt like liquid or something on his leg, or. It all looks good. I don't know, let me know if you guys have watched this or, or know any backstory on this. Let me know, if, if, you know, why he's actually looking down like that. That's scary. Because if he felt something, that could be really, really bad. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, he's opening it up right now. Oh, he's going. My God. He is tucked behind that windscreen.
Oh my god! You were running wheelies through bins! <sighs> it's so stressful. It's so stressful. I know he's okay because I know he's alive. I, I guess it is. That is, that is so scary. He's literally going through a bend. Granted, granted he's taking it straight, but it's still a bend in the road. Whew. I literally have goosebumps. I don't even know where the hell he's going. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's that. Oh! There's that dip. That, that, that compression point in, in the corner. Right here. The road gives way. It drops down. But as it's dropping down, they're, they're going through the corner. Ah. Blind. No, stop. Oh my god, it's scaring the shit out of me. Oh! Ah! I seriously have goosebumps. Oh my go oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Halfway through the lap. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, there's the jump. What the hell, guys? My man was redlining through sixth gear, in sixth gear, through a tunnel of trees. Oh my god. Just a casual glance over at the fans.
Hello, hello? Oh my god, this is giving me high anxiety. Oh, I thought the road was going right. Oh my god, I would have been mince meat. I thought it was going right again here. A pedestrian bridge. Pardon me, excuse me. Hello, hello. Hit it. This is a super tight hairpin. I think this takes you up into the, like, the countryside. I can't remember for sure. Looks like it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! <laughs> I know that corner. I don't remember what any of them are called, but I know it. I'm not joking. I mean, I am. I'm. I'm not joking at all. This is literally giving, giving me anxiety. Like my heart is just racing. I've had goosebumps multiple times. I pointed him out. This man, and he looks like at times that he's he's coming out of these corners and he's just looking like over at the fans, like, "Hey, what's going on, guys?" And yanking wheelies. It's absolute insanity. You know, I can't stress enough how much these people put their lives on the line doing this event every single year. Unfortunately, the Isle of Man 22, uh, TT of 2022, we lost five people, if I remember correctly. One father-son duo uh, in one of the sidecar races. It, it goes to show you that this is undoubtedly the most dangerous motorsport on the planet. And he just looks like he's doing it so effortlessly. I'm not even... I'm sitting in a chair and it's scaring the shit out of me. This is insane.
Is that a <clears throat> sorry, was that a waved yellow? Yeah, they're waving a yellow flag. Another waved yellow. Does anybody know what that was? Hey, my man is showboating. Watch. He looks over, coming out of this corner, so you could see his shadow of him riding a wheelie. Watch. Don't mind me. Just hitting a wheelie. Wow. Look at that scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. There's the big runoff. This is nuts. This is insanity.
My god! Was that a mile long wheelie? Jesus criminy. Okay, so so this video itself was actually uploaded by Peter Hickman. Uh, his YouTube channel is Hickey60, and I am 110% subscribing right now, as should all of you. Damn, man, that was absolute insanity. I'm not joking. I had anxiety nearly the entire time, watching how close they get to the walls, and then when they're in just flat out in six gear rev banging, tucked into the uh, fuel tank, and all you're looking at is a bug splatter soaked windscreen that's this tall and trying to just disseminate where the next corner is and where you're supposed to be going and having the sun in your eyes absolutely mental i've never in my life witnessed anything so absurd in my entire life wow that was that was crazy uh one of the best videos i've ever watched on youtube especially one of the best motorsports videos I've ever watched ever in my entire life. What's more insane than just what it was is that wasn't even flat out like a full race lap. That was just a showcase for the BMW motorcycle. Big, big, big shout out to Hickey. That was crazy. Big shout out to you guys as well for hanging out and watching this with me. I really appreciate the recommendations. If you have any other motorsport reactions you'd like to watch me react to, please feel free to drop them down below. Don't send links as I don't actually see those because they don't get posted. Uh, but I would really appreciate it. But that's going to do it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. I'm a racing game YouTuber mostly, but I am doing these reaction videos on the side. So uh, I appreciate the support uh, on both fronts. But I really appreciate you guys watching. As always, I have been Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon.